Hi folks, so one brief thing I want to say, and I do actually mean it this time and will be brief, that is uh, Lichter now, Johannes Lichter now. So when we have discussions about um, longsword, um, many people weigh in uh, using the names of techniques from the Lichter now lineage. And uh, for those of you who know about Lichter now, um, one of the features of it are the so-called Meisterhau, the master blows. Um, and what I really want to say is that using Johannes Lichtenau's system as a sort of analogue for explaining medieval longsword is maybe not the best system to use because the whole point of Lichtenau is that it's not typical. Okay? So if you go to the earliest source we have surviving in the Lichtenau lineage, the, the so-called um, Hanko Dobringer, uh, source, which is probably not written by Hanko Dobringer, but by some anonymous person. Um, if you look at that, it's very clear that when he's talking, um, when he's explaining the techniques, he tells you to do certain things and not do certain things, whilst assuming that the opponent uses the normal, the regular style of longsword fencing. And he will do different things to you. He, he, he will parry in a certain way, which you're told not to. Um, and you're told how to take advantage of that. And this is the whole point, in my view, originally, of the Meisterhau. It's, let's call it a secret, a super secret uh, master's system. Okay, So it's designed for the really good, experienced fencer to give them some fighting... Um, ethos as kind of a, a mentality to the fight and a set of techniques that fit into that mentality such that you as the experienced student of Lichtenauer can go and defeat the common longsword fencer. And I think it's very important to remember that that's the context of the Lichtenauer lineage in the first, so we, should we say, generation of Lichtenauer students, that it's a special system design for defeating the common longsword fencers. Therefore, it is not common longsword fencing. So when people, when we're having a discussion about um, how longswords were used in the, in the medieval period, uh, and people weigh in and go, ah, oh, but you know, in the Lichtenauer lineage, uh, they say never to do this, and you must, you must do this instead. In a way, that's completely irrelevant, because the whole point of Lichtenauer is that it is supposed to be different if Lichtenauer's lineage of uh, longsword fencing is the same and represents the other styles of longsword fencing that were all over Europe at that time, then Lichtenauer ceases to be Lichtenauer and ceases to make sense as a system. Okay? And the one last thing I'll say is it's true that many other systems claim to be special in this way as well. And there's a hint at this in I-33 um, where it talks about fighting against the common fencers. So, something to bear in mind. Thank you.